This is a video on using the second derivative test. The question states, find all relative extrema. Use the second derivative test where applicable. f of x equals x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 20. So to find the extrema, I first take a derivative and set it equal to 0. So the derivative of f is 4x cubed minus 12x squared. I factor and set that equal to 0, and I get 4x squared times x minus 3 equals 0. And that has solution x equals 0 and x equals 3. So those are my critical points. Now let's classify them. Let's try the second derivative test, which means I take the second derivative of f, which is 12x squared minus 24x. And I plug in my value to see if I get a positive number, a negative number, or 0. So if I plug in 0, I end up getting 0. And unfortunately, the second derivative test fails when I get 0. So I have to use the first derivative test. So I plug in a number a little to the left of 0 and a number a little to the right of 0 into the first derivative for the first derivative test. So a little to the left of 0 is negative 1. And if I plug in negative 1, I get negative 4 minus 12. So f prime of negative 1 is negative 16. So to the left of 0, it's decreasing. Now I plug in a number to the little to the right of 0, like 1. If I plug in 1, I get 4 minus 12 is negative 8. And we can see it's still decreasing. So if we have a function that is decreasing and then continues to decrease, we don't have a maximum, nor do we have a minimum. Because maximum means you go up and down. Minimum, you go down and up. So we could say that we have neither a max nor a min. Now let's look at x equals 3. So I plug in x equals 3 into the second derivative for the second derivative test. And what I got when I plugged it in was 36. 36 is greater than 0. And that means that it is concave up, or it looks like a smile. And if it looks like a smile, that means it goes down and up, so we have a minimum at x equals 3. So now let's finish the problem. If I plug in 0 and I plug in 3, I get 20 and negative 7. So in conclusion, at 0, 20, I don't have a maximum and I don't have a minimum. We call this a stationary point. At x equals 3, and y equals negative 7, I have a relative minimum. And I'm done with the problem.